The streets are decorated in traditional Chinese New Year style. The markets in Victoria Park are central to the busy and colourful festival. Plants and flowers signifying hope and promise for a new year are on sale. But the government has banned the sale of what are known as dry goods, any items with a political reference. That hasn't stopped pro-democracy groups holding their own independent markets. Because of the protests, and also we think that Hong Kong people should take more control on their own freedom and economics. So we uh, plan to set up this market and hopefully Hong Kong people can have their freedom on how to, how to use their money basically. This is one of a number of crowd-funded markets being held across the city called Burn For You. On sale are handicrafts and products highlighting the anti-government message with stallholders keen to reaffirm their political stance. In the past few months, Hong Kong is very sad, facing some problems with police. So um, we want to deliver some message uh, in the happy uh, Chinese New Year and to let them uh, feel happy and the products can show the Hong Kong message. There are around 15 independently organised markets being held over the Chinese New Year holiday break. The location of some of them is not being shared publicly. You have to register first to get those details. In the current climate, organisers fear any politicised event will be targeted by police. Security checks are in place across the main festival locations, but the government isn't taking any chances. The annual fireworks display has been cancelled, so too has the traditional Chinese New Year parade. What was once considered the most significant festival of the year in Hong Kong is rather low-key for 2020, and anti-government protesters are planning another rally on Sunday which might further dampen the celebrations. Sarah Clark, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.